Let's write three equivalent fractions for three twelfths. Here's how we'll do that. We're looking for another fraction that's equivalent. It's equal to three over 12. If you divide three over 12, you'd get the same decimal, just that we have a different numerator and denominator. For 3 twelfths, we could just simplify it starting out. So 3 goes into 3 one time, and it goes into 12 four times. So 3 twelfths, one of the equivalent fractions, would be 1 fourth. And if you divide 3 by 12 or 1 by 4, you get the same answer, 0 0.25, because they're equivalent fractions. Let's try another one. Instead of dividing, you could multiply. So we could multiply 3 over 12 by 1, that would just give us 3 over 12. Why don't we multiply it by 2 over 2? 2 divided by 2, it's just 1, and it doesn't change anything. But now, 3 times 2 is 6, 12 times 2 is 24, and 6 24ths, that's another equivalent fraction to 3 twelfths and 1 fourth. Let's do one more. Let's multiply 3 twelfths by 3 over 3. 3 over 3, that's equivalent to 1, so we don't change the value, just the way it's represented. And 9 over 36 is another equivalent fraction to 3 twelfths. All of these, 9 36, 6 24ths, 1 4th, and 3 twelfths, they equal the decimal 0 0.25 because they are equivalent fractions. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.